Hello, welcome to this MIT App Inventor tutorial. I am Krishna Raghavendran and in this video, we are going to make a random decision app. But before we start, please click the red subscribe button for more videos. Yes, so now let's start. Before we start designing the app and putting the blocks, we need to know what is the idea of this random decision app. So it will be like this. So first there will be a text box, the user and a button. So the user will add some items, for example, cake, ice cream, chocolate. And then there will be a button called generate random. And if the user clicks that, it will tell which he should eat. For example, ice cream. So it will generate a random decision. So like that we are going to make. So now let's start making the app. So I'm deleting this. First make sure that align horizontal is center. Now let's bring a list view. So in this list we are going to show what they have added. So make the width as fill parent. And I prefer background color white will be nice and text color black will be good. Yes. So now we have a list here. Now let's add a button and a text box. So this button is add. So this when you click this button a decision for example something like that for example if, if i need to make a decision on what what um, which vehicle i should go today should i go using bike or car something like that then this mobile will give us a decision so here we need to type car and add and bike and click on add so these will be get added and after we click generate random it will give us which one we need to go randomly. So it will also help us to do random decisions. So you can also put like remove, update, but I'm not going to do in this video all the remove and update because I have already done how to put remove, update, clear all in the previous videos. So if you go to working in lists tutorial, then you can you will know how to add an item in a list remove edit which is update and then clear all so you can refer that and you can also add it in the random decision app which you are making so i'm just putting add and the link of the working in lists is in the description you can watch that video if you don't know how to put remove update and the other things yes so now this is button one. So we also need another button. So this button's text is going to be generate random decision. Yes. So now let's make this font size to be 20 and font bold. And let's make this font size 20. And again font board. So now let's go to the block section. So when button one dot click, which is the add button, we need to add something to the list. What they have entered in the text box one. So we are going to have a variable called lists. Yes. So now when button one dot click, add items to list. So the list is going to be this one and the item is going to be text box one dot text. What they have entered. So let's set this to create empty list at the first, this variable. Yes. So now next what we need to do is that after they add it, we need to show it in this list view. 
we we are not showing it we are just adding in this variable so now we need to show we need to do set list p one dot elements to it is going to be get global list variable yes so now after they click the generate random decision which is button 2 so here let's go to when button 2 click we need to generate a random number so for that we are going to do we need a variable called random number and this is not going to be create emptiness this is going to be at the first as zero or you can also give random number from one to so it's going to be from one to this be one dot here if you go you can see length length of place here going to be this one global list so we are going to get it shows an error here because this now cannot be in the initial we should not put when we are initializing so let's just put random integer from 1 to 3 or any number you want we can put this only when we set. So now when they click the generate random decision button, we are going to set this random number variable to this one. Length of list, which is this one. No, it's going to be random integer from 1 to length of list. So for example, if they add three items to this list, for example, let's say cake, chocolate and ice cream, then it needs to pick random from one and three because the length of list is three. That's why we are setting this random number to random integer from one to this one. And then we need another variable called random decision. String anything you want. So now this let me put empty string and then when they click this button to we need an if condition. So if the random number is equal to one random I'm sorry random number is equal to one Then we are going to set the random decision to index 1 in the list. So for that we are going to go here. Select list item. The list is going to be this global list. And the index is going to be 1. There is another easy way you can do instead of putting all this random number. Here if you see there might be something like random item, pick random item in list. You can also use that but I am going using this method. So we are setting this random decision to select list item. List is global list and index is 1. So now after we select the random decision we need to show it to them. So for that we are going to do set set label text to this variable. So we need a label for that. So we have a label. Let me put the font size as 30 and font as bold. So this is going to be nothing. And then we will set it here. So set label one dot text. To this decision yeah now it is over let's test our app 
so you need to put this for so you need to put the same in if condition three times look it's not going to be three it's going to be instead of this if condition we can also do like the correct method is to set the random decision to index is going to be this random number yes so now let's test our app and see if it is working so now let's test our app i'm going to put ice cream then cake and then chocolate and add it so you can see all the three is added so now i'm going to generate a random decision on which i should eat ice cream or cake or chocolate so now let me click it shows cake again it shows chocolate so every time it shows a random thing from these three and our app is working so thank you for watching this video please subscribe to our channel like and share this video